Hi guys. Today we are going to be talking about drawing in Pratt. What is drawing in Pratt? It means that we will be drawing some line graphs so that we have a cleaner, more understandable way to present our data. Let's start by either uploading or creating an audio file. I'm going to create one. Let's do a question so we can see intonation. Did you already eat dinner? And I'll title this as dinner question. I'm going to save it to list and close as usual. I'm going to click view and edit as usual. Here I've got my lovely question. As usual, I can zoom in. I'm going to click, shift, click. And then to zoom in, I can press Command N on a Mac, Control N on a PC, or the selection button down at the bottom. And now I might want to look at a few different things. The three that we would most often look at for a simple analysis are the pitch, the intensity, and the format. So let's start with pitch. We're going to have it show us the pitch at the question, so no surprise, its intonation is high at the end. And what we're going to do is draw a nice little graph of this over in uh, Pratt Picture. Now, the first thing to know is that in Pratt Picture, we need to select an area and that's where it's going to draw it. So if I make it big, it's going to give me a nice big graph. If I make it tiny, it's actually going to be too tiny and everything will be smooshed together and you won't be able to look at it. So make sure you choose a decent size. I'm going to make it about half size so we can do a few next to each other and look at them. So I select the area I want and then I come back over to my dinner question and I go to pitch, make sure you've already clicked show pitch or this won't work. Go to draw visible pitch contour. And then we have quite a few options here. Now, notice that if I don't select anything, here's what happens. <laughs> we don't get much. So I'm going to highlight another section and let's click everything this time so that we can see what happens. Well, almost everything. I'm going to click speckle, put the name near the top, draw selection times, draw selection hairs, and garnish. Now, I'm not clicking erase first because if you click erase first, it will erase everything you already have in Pratt Picture. And I want these to be side by side. I don't want it to erase what we already have. We need it there so we can look at them together. So now I'll click OK. All right, so the first thing we see is the name is near the top. Here we didn't have the name of the audio file, here we do. The next thing you might notice is, of course, we have a big frame around the whole thing. That is what garnish does. Now, why is it called garnish? I don't know. It seems a bit more important than garnishings to me, but there we are. We also have up here the selection time and the selection hair. And finally, we see that the line here is a line, whereas here it's speckled. That is what speckle does. So I'm going to go ahead and erase all of these. And then I want to show that we have a couple other options. Now, those looks pretty boring, black and white. We do have some options up here for how to make things look different. So for example, instead of doing speckle, we can have a dotted line, a dashed line, or a dashed dotted line. I'll put a dashed line just so we can see what it looks like in our next one. And we can also change the color of the line. Let's make it magenta because it's nice and easy to see the difference. We can also change the font so that things are much bigger or much smaller. 12 is good for us right now. But maybe I'm a modernist, so I want some Helvetica instead of this old-fashioned Times New Roman. And again, I'm going to highlight the area that I want. I'm going to come back here. And this time, instead of analyzing the pitch, let's unclick that. Let's show the intensity instead. And we see it in decibels on the right as predicted. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Make sure you click show intensity first and then we'll go to the draw visible intensity contour. And again, I don't want to erase first, though this time it wouldn't matter. Nothing's over there. I do want the garnish, but I'm going to say no selection hairs and no selection times. I'm just not a big fan. And I like the name to be near the top, but let's show what it looks like when it's far from the top, just so you have an idea. There we go. We have the name, it's quite a bit higher up. 
and our line as we designed earlier we've made it dashed and magenta now why might you want to color things let's say you want to show a few different bits of data on the same graph so let's say i want to show the pitch and the intensity well i just drew the intensity here but maybe i want to overlay pitch then maybe i change my line i'm gonna make it um teal and then I'll come back, and that way when it draws it, it'll draw it in teal. Maybe I also change the line to a solid line. And I'm gonna come back over here, stop intensity, show pitch again, draw pitch contour, and I'm not going to choose garnish this time or else it's going to overlay. It's gonna have those titles on both sides. So here where it says intensity it would try to say pitch right on top of it which would be messy it would have something on top of this which would be messy and we have this same section highlighted so we're actually overlaying these so i'm going to go to pitch draw visible pitch contour i don't want to speckle it i want it to be a solid line like i saw earlier and we are not going to garnish it we're not going to draw any selection hairs we're not going to draw any selection times and i'm not going to write any name so all we'll get is the line overlaid and there we go we see our line overlaid in teal now could we add a third layer sure why not let's put a dotted line this time and let's make it i don't know yellow we'll see if it's very visible or not and let's get rid of our pitch and instead show the formants now if we go to draw a visible formant contour Again, I don't want any name. I don't want to erase it first. I don't want garnish or selection hairs or selection times. I just want the formants themselves. I click OK, and there we go. They're overlaid on top of each other. And then you could do something like create some text by going to world. So I highlight an area first where I'm going to want the text to show up. And I'll select world, text, and I can write something here like formats. Though I suppose I might have to, no, it worked. So I have my uh, same color there now. If I wanna label what the teal is, then I just change my pen color to teal, 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 there we go. And I'll go to world again and text and type, excuse me, I'll type uh, pitch. And then I can do the same thing here for intensity, though I already have it over there. Same process, right? I'm going to change it to magenta and type. So now we know how to overlay all three of these. And that is all we're talking about for today. Nice work!